man in love is incomplete until he's married. And then he's found. <laughs> what can I say about Ross? I'd like to say you're just like me. <laughs> but I don't think that's totally true. Look at the differences. I try, I try to play golf. He plays Kadoo Polo. I'm married young. He's now married, but he's not quite I drink whiskey and he drinks lager. In fact, the first time he drank lager, was about, he's about 50 years of age. And he decided to go camping in a field just over there with Barry. <laughs> he's always been a bad for some reason. Other way around. He drank a few cans of beer and he was ill for three days. <laughs> things have, some things in life never change. <laughs> One thing we do have in common is that we're going to put in the top. You can probably know it's not. But it's not, it's not hereditary. Because he's he losing his hair because of great nasty does as a kid. <laughs> I'm sure George and Talisa would uh, join Jane and I in formally welcoming the Shell and Ross into both their families. And then to wish them every joy and happiness in their future together. Traditionally, I was supposed to give the groom some family advice uh, to have a successful marriage. Just copy your parents. Another significant thing to note my second quote, which comes from the American poet Ogden Nash, who wrote, to keep your, keep your marriage brimming with love in the love cup, Whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> With that, I'd like to propose a toast to the health and happiness of the groom and his beautiful bride, to Ross and Michelle. <laughs> especially for stressing us out to the max every time. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have been the red without my mum without getting us round up. I reckon everywhere we've went in the last couple of days have said we've never seen a bride and groom so relaxed, so comfortable, unstressed, nothing at all. As soon as we go into our mum's house, my God, you've never seen us so stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank both the Lindas for singing, for writing the name cards out. Pamela and Doreen for all the folding and wrapping and all the brilliant things they've done for us. I'd also like to thank Rosie for calming me down today and keeping us going and all the 
good fun before it. I'm not only, I meant to say loads about Michelle and all the nice things, but I'm lost for words. She's beautiful every day. She's looking that bit more better today, but. <laughs> was there at the start of my life. I grew up with Barry and he was there for me all the time. Once he left, I want to see swear words. Once he left, <laughs> went away down to Bristol, Martin fell right into his place and they've been there for me every day. Whenever I've been having a bad time, they've been there for me. So I'd like everybody upstanding to toast the best men. been holding Tuesday, so Grant's going to look forward to these flowers for the next couple of days. I'd also like to thank all the girls. They were just fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, toast to the bridesmaids. <laughs> the bridesmaids. <laughs> Thank you everybody again for coming and hope you have a great night. Thanks a lot. Yeah.